now to one and all. And we'll start with apologies for absence, which we don't have any, so everybody's here. <coughs> the minutes of the meeting from the 4th of December. And I'm just happy that I can sign those as a true record. Thank you. These announcements I don't have any this evening. Uh, declarations of interest, anyone? No? Okay. Next item is petitions, so I do have something to say on this. And members will recall I presented a paper petition at the council meeting in December, which was opposing the building of 1,500 new homes in Warsash, Lockseath, Parkgate, and Titchfield. This petition has now been verified alongside the online petition, which was running on the council's website for the same request. And I can confirm that the combined number of signatures from those petitions is 2,390. That number is certainly significant and would ordinarily trigger a debate at full council. However, in this particular instance, as the petition was raised in response to the consultation on the draft local plan, it would not be appropriate, I'm advised, to debate this matter at the next council meeting, and this is to avoid any predetermination issues where councillors might publicly voice their opinions on how they will vote on site allocations for housing prior to the local plan being formally presented to the council for adoption, <coughs> or indeed prior to any planning applications on those specific sites coming forward to the planning committee for approval. So we will ensure the petition is given adequate <coughs> exposure and any planning applications which do come to the planning committee before the local plan is adopted will include reference to the petition via the officer's report. The petitioner has been advised of this variation to proceedings and will be invited to attend the council meeting and make a deputation on the subject when the local plan does eventually come forward for adoption. So I hope that explains it. But Councillor Cartwright. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. Um, yes, I mean, on, the, on this particular <coughs> point, I think I've, I've really got to say that I'm extremely disappointed, uh, as, are, as are my residents in Walsash, that you know, we've now got a petition of you know 2,390 signatures on it. Um, equally, I know that all of it's in Warsash, but I think the point really is that we've got that. We've got the local plans out for consultation, um, and my residents are getting slightly confused. And I think the thing that's confusing them, of course, is that we've also had the change to the Taylor, Taylor Wimpy inquiry. Um, coming up, and equally, probably more importantly, we've got at least five applications coming to the planning committee, some in the near future. So it, this strikes me as being a bit sort of late uh, to start debating a petition later on in, in the year, whenever it's going to be, at full council, when equally a number of these applications could already been, be determined by then. So to say I'm disappointed is probably an understatement. Thank you for making your point on that. The next item is item 6, deputations, there are none. Item 7 is minutes and references from other committees, <coughs> and there is a short paper circulated on that. There's the Licensing and Regulatory Affairs Committee, which has given us its views on the proposals for changes to gaming machines and social responsibility measures, and we have a report before us on this evening's agenda on that. And the other item we have is the Street Scene <coughs> Policy Development and Review Panel meeting from November, which is recommending that when we come to the item on hedge cutting, that we should accept option three in that report. And there is an item coming forward on that this evening as well. Next is item eight, Street Scene. And we have one Street Scene matter, and that's Refuse and Recycling Collection from Service Roads in Porchester. <coughs> Councillor Price has asked if, if he can address the executive on that, so if you'd like to come forward, Councillor Price, but first I will ask Councillor Miss Harper, as the executive <coughs> member, to present this item. Refuse bins, recycling bins from Garden Sacks from properties in and around West Street, Porchester, between the Queensway and Kingsway, are currently collected from private service roadways to the rear of the properties. 
There have been ongoing problems with the refuse collection vehicle accessing these narrow roadways. Vehicles are frequently parked opposite and around the entrance, which forces the drivers to cross the grass verge, causing damage to the verges. In addition, the surface of the roadway is of poor quality and deteriorating, which presents a hazard to the crews collecting the bin. Residents affected have been consulted on the proposal to collect the bins and garden waste sacks from the public highway at the front of their properties, <coughs> which is standard service across the borough. Residents would have the choice to either store bins in the front garden or to continue with their current storage arrangements and take their bin and their garden waste sacks from the rear to the front of the property each week for collection. There have been some objections to the proposal, but the majority, 86%, which did not respond to the cons consultation. Any elderly or disabled residents affected who are unable to pull their bin or suck out to the collection point will be able to pre-request and receive assistance from the collection crews who will enter the property and collect the bin or sack from the storage point. The storage point would need to be in the front garden as it is not practical for the crew to collect bins from the back garden or behind a rear fence. If the executive agrees the proposal outlined in the report, a letter will be sent to all residents concerned and to notify them of the change of the collection and the commencement date. Now I've also got oh, a few photos for you so you can actually appreciate the, how um, narrow the entrance um, is. So this is on the private roadway looking out onto the, onto the highway. That's another one. Uh, and you can see, um, and here is the actual entrance and the cars are actually parked um, right on the entrance and there's normally another car on the other side by the wall as well. That hinders uh, the, the rescue, refuse vehicles have to reverse down um, this surface road. So here comes a lorry, and you can see um, the big uh, divots that they're, they're making to, on the, um, the bottom there to actually cross the grass verge. And that's them, if you can see them swinging in, that, that blue car there, and how close he is to the... Uh, the blue car on the opposite side of the road and you can see why they're actually having to um, cross the grass verge there's not a lot of room to, to swing that uh, lorry um, and he's there he is reversing how um, we are very close to the wall and to the car <coughs> expert to drive and required Um, and he's, there he is reversing how um, we are very close to the wall and to the car, <coughs> expert to drive and required. And on this one you can see the, the, the puddles where the divots are. Uh, and that is the, the grass verge where they've had to cut across. I think that's the last one. Oh no, there's a couple more. Um, Obviously those puddles there are icy at the time, so it is very dangerous for vehicles and for uh, people on foot crossing those, those puddles as well. There we go. Okay, thank you very much for that presentation. Councillor Price. Thank you, Chairman. The first thing is that I fully understand that something has to be done. I don't disagree with that at all. But it's what can can't be done. It's, it's really <coughs> where we seem to be with this thing is that nobody's got any other solution. Is writing and objecting, and even if they did, the group who come to leave our refuse lorry to smash up the, the verge and, and destroy private property, so they have to bring the bins forward. It seems very straightforward to me. You, you haven't got no idea. <laughs> Uh, I think it's kind of reminding me to come back to Jim. Is that certainly, I've got no no magical solution to the problem. Um, and as I said, what I just don't want to see is really a lot of bins on an approach to being <coughs> stored in the front gardens because it doesn't make a very good impression coming in. Uh, and I accept that there are other properties around the borough where bins will be stored in front gardens as well. Um, 
and I, as I say, I understand the problem, and there needs to be a solution to it. It's, a, it's in my <coughs> humble opinion, it's a prop. It's a pity that more people didn't respond with probably making ideas. They they live there, and could the mayor come up with some suggestions? And I, I think that's a great pity. Uh, there was some suggestions of having a collection point at the end of the drive, yeah. end of the driveway, and again, that doesn't work because, um, again, cars need to have access coming in. Other people wouldn't come and collect if the house on the end would get all the bins, um, and it could, um, in other areas that that's happened, it would increase um, fly tipping as well. So we didn't want to do that. So there were a few ideas that came back from from those that did respond. But again, we didn't find them suitable. Yes, I was just reading on the consultation part that um, on paragraph 14, where it talks about double yellow lines. And I mean, that probably would help a bit. I mean, I understand that Hampshire will only do it on casualty reduction, but it's probably common sense says if there was a bit of yellow lines there, it might help the, the in swing of the lorry, basically, and for a very small outlay. <coughs> Yeah, I guess just just guessing that that um, road where you'd be painting them is a private road anyway, mm -hmm. so we wouldn't be asking the county to pay for license in somebody's driveway. Yeah, can I guess add is that within the last 18 months, I'm sure Councillor Cartwright might remember he approved the increasing of the yellow lines round those junctions and those those corners of the junction mm -hmm. and down the road, and there was a number of objections from the public. To go any further, I think, because you probably, I mean, memory serves me correct, wanted to go a bit further down the, or into the roads, and there are a lot of rejections from the public, you remember. So we have done as far as we can on that. Okay, I think this one we need to thank Councillor Price for his comments and his lack of ideas as well. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> agree the recommendation. So I agree.